in a minute I will ask you to work this out but uh, before I do let, let me just give you some piece of knowledge in order to work it out so when, when you're faced with uh, factorial try to understand what's going on for example if you're faced with this try to understand what's going on here well factorial are uh, from from 1 all the way to 3n plus 3n plus 2 means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and so on all the way up to 3n all the way up to 3n and then and then the next term will be 3n plus 1 and then the one after that will be 3n plus 2 so your 3n plus 2 will be your very last one so so um, 3n plus 2 factorial actually means this from 1 all the way to 3n and then the next term will be uh, 3n plus 1 and then the next one will be 3n plus 2 so this is your very last one and then if, if you have, if you have 3n factorial it means all the way up to 3n and then if, if you have one thing divided by another thing well if you look at this it will cancel out easily so all that you're left with is uh, is this thing here so so you, this you can easily simplify to uh, to 3n plus 1 uh, uh, times 3n plus 2 for example so so when when you're faced with factorial try to to understand what's going on um it, or, or or if you, if you have something like um uh n factorial squared over uh well try to understand what's going on that break things up so for example n factorial put put a put a for example put a 4 in here so it's going to be uh 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 that's n factorial and then when you come to square it it means you get the whole block you get this whole thing here and then times it by itself so it's like this so the the point is that when you're faced with factorial try to break it up and try and understand what's going on put a small number into the end and try and see what happens okay and uh, and also when 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 you're um, when you're doing um, convergence tests you tr if if you're faced with factorial think about um, the ratio test the ratio test is very good when it comes to to simplifying uh factorial because something like this it, it can simplify it itself so when you when you get factorial floating around think about the um, the uh, the ratio test. Well, anyway, now it's your turn to have a go. So um, so determine if this um, if this series will converge or if it will diverge. Um, yeah. So use a ratio test. Okay. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So to do this, um, to use a ratio test, uh, we we need to work out the value of this thing here. We need to get the next term divided by the current term. Absolute find the limit as n tends to infinity. We, basically, we need to find out this value here in order for us to do the ratio test. So looking at this, the next term will be us putting n plus 1 into, into this n here. So, so we are putting n plus 1 into the n here. So, uh, so that, will be, that will be our 2 here on the outside, and then our n plus 1 is right here, and then factorial on the outside. Uh, and then, and then don't forget, we've got to put n plus one into here as well, into here. So that will be n plus one factorial. That's this bit here, and then, and then squared, and then squared. So, so our, our a n plus one would be this whole thing here. This a n here will be this. And then once you're at this stage, then have a quick glance. Um, in, in the realm from one to infinity, um, is it ever going to be negative? Well, if you think about it, this thing will never be negative, will never be negative, will never be negative, will never be negative. Uh, well, in the realm of 1 to, um, to infinity, it will never be negative. So we can immediately discard the absolute sign. And then you've got one fraction divided by another fraction. That's the same as, that's the same as, uh, one fraction multiplying the reciprocal. Okay. So, so hang on. So from here, from here, uh, because it's always positive, we can discard the, the absolute sign. And then here you've got this fraction uh, divided by this fraction. That's the same as getting this fraction. That's, that's this one here. And then multiplying with the reciprocal of this, which is this thing here. Okay. And then, uh, and then once you're here, uh, once you're here, let me think what, what next. Hang on. Uh, oh, uh, once you're here, Multiply this out. So this times this, this times this. That would then give you this. So so this whole thing here will become this. Basically, all that we've done is multiplying this out. So that would then give us this. 
and then once you're here try and try and understand what's going on here so uh, so this is very similar to what we what we did earlier right from the start of the video we um so so if you have uh, if you have 2n plus 2 factorial over 2n factorial um so so, so so this thing here would be like us doing this 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 all the way up to 2n all the way up to 2n and then the one after that will be uh 2n plus 1 and then the one after that will be 2n plus 2 and then this thing here will be us doing it from uh well 2n factorial 2n factorial would be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 all the way up to 2n and then and then these will cancel out leaving you with 2 uh 2n plus 1 2n plus 2 leaving you with 2n plus 1 2n plus 2 uh, and then uh and then this thing here uh this thing here you you've got to try and understand what's going on here uh, so 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 when when you're faced with factorials try to understand what's going on um you've got n factorial so so remember how we've taken care of this okay we've taken care of this this turns out to be uh, 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 2 so uh, so this block here is this now we need to take care of this so um, so looking at this try to understand what's going on let's let's put a small number into the end let's put 4 so so 4 factorial is squared so we are trying to understand this so put a small number into here try just to try and understand what's going on so so we are going to put a small number in here just to understand what's going on so put a 4 in there so 4 factorial would mean 2 uh, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and then we've got squared here squared means you times it by itself so that would be the exact same self so that would be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 that's what squared means you get it times it by itself and then you've got your divide you've got your divide well n plus 1 would be 1 n plus 1 would be 1 notch higher than n so that would be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 you see it's 1 notch higher than than the 4 here uh, and then and then you've got your you've got your squared here so squared means get the exact get multiply by its exact self so that would be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 so you can see that well let's let's cancel out the four, up to 4 here cancel out up to 4 here so all that you're left with is this thing here which is n plus 1 and then n plus 1 so n plus 1 times n plus 1 that will be n plus 1 squared okay so so that will then take us to here i'll continue in the next video